This is very exciting because I have a package here. I actually haven't opened it yet. I slipped the top, but I haven't pulled anything out of it yet. Uh, I think I know what this is. And it should be exciting, so let's, let's reach in there and find out what is contained within this bag. It's an unbagging here in Classic Game Room, an, un an unbagging of... Oh, that looks familiar. This is the first time I've seen it in print. Retro Megatrex. Volume 1. The Lost Art of, of well, me. I made this. That's a huge ass book. Yes, that turned out very nice. Retro Megatrex Volume One. Spelled my name correctly. I'm always worried about that. Back cover looks good. Great color work on this. Dust off her skirt. So hopefully you saw the video where I was making this, and uh, here it is in, in print. I'm actually holding it in my hand. It is, it is complete. Artwork from the past 20 years. Much of it not uh, published before. Wow. I drew this, uh, this one here is, uh, actually uh, I, I found the originals. Um, when I was going through all the older art, it's an incomplete project called Invasion of Happy Village. Uh, and I used this storyline. Good printing quality too, wow. I used this storyline as the foundation for Lord Carnage 1.5. In fact, I, you can see here, I didn't even uh, finish this originally. That's one of the few non-finished ones. This is one of my college comics. From 1996, 97, that's 97. And you can see here, my love for Atari runs deep. And we also have uh, Wind Squid. Let's see, open this up. We've got the sketch for the cover. And the Retro Megatrex. Mashup of all of the characters, which looks pretty good. This is a big book. This is eight and a half by eleven, too. Great printing quality. I am I am just thrilled with this. There's cartoon me. And there's Lord Carnage and Hunter Skywolf. A talking Triangle, Bullfar, Brother Shabazz, Edit Station One, Captain College, Wind Squid. This is available on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex Volume One. But wait, that's not all. Also, here is the second issue in the CGR Collectors series reviews. Uh, it's the Revenge of Shinobi review for Sega Genesis in full color as you can wow that looks great I have not seen this in uh, print yet so right now I'm finishing up Jesus book 2 or Jesus issue 2 and Surf Panda. But in the meantime, you can pick up uh, the CGR Collectors Series review of The Revenge of Shinobi and Retro Megatrex. This should give you plenty of, uh, plenty of reading for the weekend. The CGR Collectors Series The Revenge of Shinobi review for Sega Genesis and Retro Megatrex. And the next one of these which I haven't started writing yet, but I will soon, is the CGR Collector Series 3 on Pac-Man, a Pac-Man review. And the next one of these will be hopefully next year.